So, Jay, as far as uh, you talked about knowing what guys can do, you know what Karan can do, you know what Chris Evans can do mm-hmm. uh, because they played a lot. But what about the some of your younger guys in your room that haven't seen any field time or not much field time? You know, what's the you know it, it, how much room is there for them to insert themselves in the dynamic that that Chris and Karan kind of you know they're going to be a part of? Yeah, there's tons of room. I mean. In our room, you're going to get what you earn, and if you can help us win, you're going to play. Uh, so I'd say there's a ton of room. Uh, we pretty regularly played three guys last season, uh, and this conference is physical. We're going to run the ball a lot. So you know, playing three backs at a lot of places doesn't seem like it's a prudent thing to do. But you know, if you're going to run the ball 35 to 40 times, it's it's very reasonable. Um, so there's a lot of roles to be earned, and and I think uh, between uh, Omari, Kareem, Kurt, True Wilson, Joe Hewlett. Uh, I think people will be surprised at some of the some of the roles that that guys can, can earn because there's a lot of different jobs out there and if you can establish establish yourself as a guy that can do one of them at an elite level, then you find your way onto the field. Right, so I've heard you mention Omari's name a couple of times. Obviously, not a guy that we uh, saw a great deal last year. Just tell me about Omari's game, the growth you saw from him, what he brings to the table. Yeah, so Omari's game, uh, he's a a shorter guy, but he's not small. He's rocked up. There's a big difference between being short and being small. Right. Uh, so right. He, he's rocked up super quick, um, great long speed. So he's a guy that if he if he does get an opportunity to bounce a ball or break one, he's going to be tough to catch. Uh, his growth has been tremendous. I think transitioning last year, high school to college, he's grown a lot more comfortable um, just feeling the defense, feeling the runs, uh, making the appropriate cuts. Um, not being in a hurry. Mm-hmm. A lot of times super fast guys have a can have a harder time being patient. Uh, so he doesn't struggle with that at all. Um, and, and he's going to have a chance to contribute in, in, a, in every way this year. And we, you mentioned Kareem. We saw him uh, sporadically uh, last year. Obviously a guy that comes in, physical, uh, great talent. Uh, and it seems like we saw, at least talking to him, he said, you know, I feel like heading into last year, I feel like I matured a lot over that first year. What did you see from him last year, and what about his growth? Yeah, so his projection for this year will be the same as the other guys. I mean, earning earning a role uh, the same way that Chris and Karan have got to go out and prove it all again. Uh, but those two, uh, uh, Omari, Kareem, and Kurt, uh, as well as the, the, the remainder of the guys, they got to do the same thing. So, mm-hmm. so day in and day out, proving uh, that you're a reliable guy that you can you can uh, help us win in some uh, particular role or hopefully more than one, and, uh, and and we'll go from there. But but I think everyone realizes what that is for Kareem. He has a chance to be um, the physical, aggressive, violent downhill runner uh, that can can really hit it hard inside and and. Uh, uh, kind of take a toll on defense over the course of a game and and so uh from a pass pro standpoint Mm -hmm. how did you feel about your position group in that aspect of the game and and uh you know what if any is there is there a next step as far as the progression there because that was that was something that i remember talking to you about uh last spring's i mean you got to be able to do that to get on the field how did you feel they they you know they did in that in that part of the game uh as with most things you end up feeling like it's not good enough Mm -hmm. um so that 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 would be the overall sentiment and and then finding ways to get better and and make it to a point where it's it's uh without wavering it's hey this is something that we're we're great at um you know building an understanding of of the mental aspect of it so you can be a I mean, you got to know who you're going to block and understand the eye progression of where you should be looking uh, to have any chance at all. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's huge for getting on the field and also for, for actually being able to execute. Understand what's my role, um, what, what exactly do I need to do, and then continuing to work the, the physical fundamentals of it. A lot of times for backs, you know, they haven't grown up blocking a lot of people. Right. So it, it takes time on task to build comfort, and, and uh, they're tough guys, so uh, they do have the willingness, uh, but it's something that we'll keep grinding on in terms of you know, sometimes you really got to stick your face in there and and uh, and, and and take pride in and letting the quarterback, you know, follow through on a on a throw and feel totally at ease. 